Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Fallout 76 Wastelanders video. It is event time, ladies and gentlemen. The Treasure Hunter event is on. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step guide to give you everything that you need to know about this lovely event. Now, this event will all be taking place right here in the Ash Heap region. You can pretty much find any of these mole miners all around here. But first, let's start off with some critical information. Let's talk about pails. Now, to acquire crafted pails, all of the Fashion Bake vendors sells these empty pails in three tiers. That's why we're here at the White Springs, because you can find plenty of different vendors from the different factions. Now, each of these vendors have one of these different pails. Each of these pails can be bought with you guessed it, caps. Now they are quite expensive. They rush from empty dust to empty mole and all the way to ornate. Ornate being the one that gives you a higher chance at getting some of the rarer different event items. Now, let me go ahead and change this out, switch this to hard bargaining. We're going to try to get this down as low as possible before we buy our ornate pill. Now, you don't have to buy these pills. If you don't have the cap, you can just run the event, and hopefully one of these mole miners, the legendary mole miners, will drop this for you. But for those of you that have the caps, you can easily just buy these, craft these, open it up, and get your reward. Now, that is pretty cool, but let's be honest, not everybody has all the caps. Now, in order to craft this, you need to head over to your workbench, that is your Tinker Workbench, and it will be located under chests. It will cost you a decent amount of materials, but if you have it, you're going to be saving yourself a lot of time by getting exclusive items that you are looking for, narrowing it down that RNG in those numbers to hopefully get what you want. Like I said, the Ornate Pill is the one that you probably want to go for, as it has a higher chance in dropping those rare treasure under plants like the circus cage trailer and the insurgent outfit or even the marine armor helmet so yeah there's a lot to get after so from there you want to head over to any of your tinker workbenches i am doing this while i am farming and yeah head over to your workbench head over to chess and as you can see the ornate mole miner pill that we bought we can craft it costs five gold six screws five silvers and five springs now once you go ahead and craft that you will then be up to R and Jesus for you to get plenty of items and there is a ton of items that you can get I'll be leaving a link down below so you can check out the treasure hunter list that has been dynamite by the lovely fallout 76 community now these pills can be self open or given away they also can be sold in vending machines but they cannot be sold back to vendor bots. So just keep that in mind when you are crafting. Now keep a close eye out on your caps and scripts too when you open your pills. Because if you mix racks, max rank with either of those, you're just going to be wasting them. And you get plenty of scripts from breaking down these legendaries. Now let's head over to the Ashy region. We're going to head to this location as you can see. This is one of a good spot that you can find mole miners at now let's head over here and they will give you a very unique sound when you find one of these legendary enemies yeah as you can see the dude got wheels the legendary hunter hunters will try to run off just chase them down and kill them and you will get yourself not only a random pill that can drop either in the rusty regular or the ornate but you will also get yourself a random legendary one two or three stars which is pretty freaking awesome now if you plan on collecting make the ornate pill first because the rare taxidermy plans only drop from that pill once you have all of those you can switch to the medium pills for the better odds at getting the weapons and the armors now the vendor inventory of empty pills re reset with your server hop so if you want to just server hop and grab those at your vendor you can go ahead and do that but you know yeah it's on ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much how you're going to get the pills you have a 10 percent chance of getting an ornate pill and a 27 chance of getting a 
regular pail when you are in this event and all treasure hunters and also guarantee legendary you have 40 per chance of it being a regular one star legendary two star legendary at five percent and three star legendary has a lower percentage but they do drop as well now before i get out of here there are some more important things that you need to know about this treasure hunter event the treasure hunters themselves the mole miners they do not spawn inside of interior cells so areas like the belching betty burning mire graham headquarters etc etc they won't spawn there and also scripted enemies do not have a chance to be treasure hunters that means that events quests workshop events etc will not have treasure hunters examples mount blair defend wave encrypted spawns real blast robo spawns etc etc so there you have it ladies and gentlemen a full step-by-step -step guide and hopefully i got everything and most of the critical information out there for you so you can get out there and you can farm i showed you how you can create pills and get them yourself i showed you where you can farm them and get them to drop now all you got to do is get out there and have yourself some fun so yeah that's pretty much going for the video as always if you are new to this channel hello welcome and don't forget to subscribe now if you really want to help out this channel in the video and help this community grow you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video and leaving a comment down below i answer all of your questions if you have any of them especially with this event just go ahead hit me up and i'll get to you back as soon as possible this event only lasts for a few days so get out there and have some fun and get yourself some lovely legendaries and some those rare plants. Thank you everybody for all your love and support and as always I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.